Hey guys, Sergeant Mario 101 here. Welcome back for more of The Walking Dead Season 2. In the last part of No Going Back, oh, where do I friggin' begin? We had that clusterfuck with the Russians during the shootout, then the cunt returned, and we decided to follow the Russian to an unfinished house instead of going to the church town. We had some bonding scenes with all the characters, some really forced bonding scenes that did not make me get close to any of the characters whatsoever, except for Kenny, and Luke and Bonnie died. Not that I'm complaining, though. They deserved it. And in this part, we are going to try and get this truck started. Or at least Kenny is going to. Need any help? I'm fine. Go check on AJ. But Kenny... I said I got this, okay? Go on inside and see if the baby needs anything. Alright, alright. Let's see what else we got here. Looks like it's about to collapse. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if it does. Looks broken. <laughs> well, is it broken? Busted. <sighs> Figured as much. Wish they'd finished this place. <laughs> uh, well, not like we're going to be staying here much longer, Clementine. Let's just go. And Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. What were they talking about? God damn it. Seen that look before. Son of a bitch. He'll be fine. Clem, he beat that boy within an inch of his life. We are way past fine. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too. Once. What are you talking Probably about Probably had a now? nice job, and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day, he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. Is there something you're implying between Kenny and Carver? You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Seems like you've done that before. Yeah, I have. In fact... Wanna try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. <coughs> it pukes! It pukes! <laughs> Good boy, AJ. I like you now. There's not much left. Where the hell did she get that? I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway. The dick got stuck under a car, hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. We lost four people before we got him out. They had to try, right? 
Wow, Jane. Didn't find out till later wow. he was already bit. Turn and rip the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. Holy shit. Working. Works? What I tell you? That's Kenny for you. So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? Not much. We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're gonna freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. Which is why we should have gone to the fucking TOWN! Ugh, guys, I'm sorry, but this fucking game and it abandoning its plot points is just pissing me off! She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? Texas. The fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry, we did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Yep. Wellington? Kenny. It's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. We're not going back. Yep. Nah, man, this no is going nuts. back. I'm with Kenny. We should head north. Goddamn right. Clem. My friend Krista. If you do, if you two don't like it, then just kill yourselves. After all, it is better to sleep. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got to help an AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? Yep. I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. Better him than another one of us. He's too dangerous to bring. At this point, you might be right. Cunt Jane, that is the he smartest the thing you've said throughout he this entire run. game. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, <laughs> but maybe if you you're, you're saying, saying that like it's a bad thing, Kenny. In the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! Kenny, don't listen to them. You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. Don't worry, Kenny. I've got you. Like I've had everything else for this whole game. Mike's having me speak to you. Again, God just like in the last episode. Stupid fucking! Get the fuck out of here! It's me, Clem. Sorry, just give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew what do you Jane expect from them? Ass, but I thought at least Mike could have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. Yep. I don't understand them either. I know. I know, Clem. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia <sighs> looking for you? You had to bring him. A lot of folks you. died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. Maybe he shouldn't have. Don't you say that. I ought to slap you. You know what he sacrificed for you? What I did? That means something, damn it! <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What do you think he'd say?
to keep my hair short. <laughs> we can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew, and what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? Yeah, she did. You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. So did I. And when you sat with those people at dinner, well, I knew you were growing up. And yeah, I felt sad, but also pride. Pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Something has to be out here. We'll find it, Kenny. I knew I could count on you, Clem. <laughs> of okay. course. We'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on. Let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. Is there really... Like, we can't leave right now. Why not? Seriously, just screw the others. Is that really how the season ends? Clem. Yeah, better to sleep, I guess. Clementine! <gasps> what the f Where am I? 
It's just a bad dream, sweet pea. What was it about? Duck? He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. When I was a kid, I never got sick. But my brother always had something. I always thought he was faking it. It's not like a cold. No, it's probably not. I feel bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh yeah, I forgot about that little oh, funny scene okay. from episode 3 of season 1. Mean it. Damn, I would've gotten a really good chuckle out of that. Lee? Hmm? Why did Lily do that to Carly? I don't know. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. ever been that angry? One time. Clem, people don't always make sense. How come? Because bad things happen to everyone. <sighs> and it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. What do you think? Should we have left her behind? I don't know. <sighs> I don't either. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't a right answer. I hate math. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Uh, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes... That means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? That you won't leave me. Oh, I wouldn't do that. I promise. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> now let's try to get some sleep. Okay, Lee. Okay, back to shit. Slow down. Shut up. She's awake. Whew. That plot armor jacket works nicely. Hey, you. Clem. Oh, thank God. You passed out from the shock. We've been worried as hell. Where are we? Been driving a few hours now. We had to run the truck to keep you warm. How and now just watch how ridiculous this turns. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. 
I mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? He never should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. I can't believe they did that. I don't think they knew what they were doing, except trying to get away. Yeah, well, they're gone now. Good fucking riddance. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? Yep. You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to house. Carver's camp? What the fuck kind of that. plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. And it was overrun by a damn herd. The walkers should be gone by now. It's miles in the other direction. Wellington's out there. We have to keep looking, Jane. Clem, you can't be falling for this. She made up her mind. Falling for Jane. it. Clem, please. This is suicide. Why don't you let Being her think you is suicide. Once. Why don't you? Me? Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howes in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy with my little eye an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Okay. Go to hell. I spy with I'll my little eye car a ahead. cunt. You die your here? turn, Kenny. I've been waiting to die next to you. Leave him alone, Jane. No, Clem, it's fine. Let her run her mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jay. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's Tell your her family, off, Kenny. Right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Don't you fucking talk about them! This isn't the time for this. No, this is exactly the time for this. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. Really? I can't but what about me. your sister, then, that you were talking about again. all the time in the what last episode? shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Who could love you? Look at you. You can't raise this and kid. And you abandoned your sister, you cunt. Me. I got this way, saving your ass from that hellhole. And I would have left you to rot if I'd known what you were. Jane, I would have done the same thing too, of Kenny. Of course he did. He loves having anyone around that does what he says. That's why he loves this kid so much. It can't talk back yet. Fuck you. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't Mike, true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita. You fucking liar, that ain't true. Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're going to end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. Shut the fuck I up, you not cunt. To talk about my family. Fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. You first Be cunt. <laughs> You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you all right? Yeah. Kenny, I'm. Wait, hold on. You're what? Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? If you're going, go now. Kenny. That fucking asshole. God. I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. Stop making him mad. Everything makes him mad. How are you not seeing that? Well, all you're doing is just making it worse. You're just like him. Better be him than you. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? Hmm. What the hell's going? Oh my god. Here they come. 
It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck! Get us out of here! I don't know how to drive! What? See that pedal on the floor? Step on it! Don't just sit that? there! What are you doing? Hurry up! Shit, we're getting closer! We'll pick up Henny on the way! Just go! Come on, Clem, go! For it! Okay! Gotta say, if AJ survives all of this, he's a fucking miracle, baby. Also, it does not matter where you go anywhere in this place. Left, right, up, down, it doesn't matter. You'll wind up in the same area regardless. Fucking stupid, I know. Me now, Clem. <laughs> At least it's starting to clear up a bit. Game did. Jane. The Wait. Oh, thank Christ. Jane, you okay? Where's the kid? Jane, where is he? Don't fucking tell me. you do? He's... What are you saying? No. No! You did not. No. Not again. Not again. Clem, look at me. No matter what happens, just stay out of it. Okay? Just trust me, Clem. How 
How could you let this happen? You have to trust me. You're gonna see what he really is. Kenny, just end this son of a bitch. Is it true? Get out of my way. Kenny? How could you kill a fucking child? Oh. I didn't kill him. It was an accident, Kenny. Fine, oh fucking Lee. I won't back down from you, Kenny. Shut up! I'm warning you. Jane, don't. Just don't. I'm not letting this crazy fuck anywhere near me, Clem. I don't need really? Permission. Because it's your fault that he's acting like this? Right, get her, Kenny! Fuck you! I'm enjoying this. Let go! No, Kenny! Jane! Get the fuck off him! No! Oh, this is all your fucking fault! Piece of shit! Just go! I ain't going nowhere! Fine. Fucking psycho! This Get no. away from him! Oh. Alright, that's a chain! I'll fucking kill you! Oh, Kenny! Listen to me! Get her off! On it, Kenny! That time again. Oh. oh wait, don't tell me. Can I? Please. Die. Fuck you. Please. Fuck you. Yes, please. Oh. Oh well. Unfortunately, Jane, I can't do that because the developers at Telltale took away the option for me to shoot you. Looks well, like they say, takes cunts to know a cunt. <laughs> Easiest choice in the entire game. Kenny. And if you, honest to God, struggled with that choice, then it's obvious that you weren't paying attention to anything in this game. He's gone, Clem. She just... How could she do that? Oh, Jesus. He's gone. He's... Why did this happen? Telltale writing, Clementine. Telltale writing. I'm right behind you. you, buddy. I won't let you out of my sights again. 
That's a promise. I thought that Jane might have killed him. I, I was thinking the same thing, Clem. That's why I was so fired up. She never wanted For the record, I knew for a fact that baby wasn't that dead the first time yeah, I played this. I guess, but I just why would she She was nuts, Clem. A disturbed person that had her own agenda that was looking out for herself. It's all right, buddy. Hey, listen, I didn't want that to happen either. I thought she'd killed Alvy Clem, and at any point she could have stopped what was happening by saying he was fine. She wanted a fight. I'd never, ever hurt you. You understand? I was protecting you. You believe me, right? Of course, Kenny. Just imagining what she did to Alvy. Everything just went black. By the time I got my head straight, it was too late. We were already at each other's throats. You were right about her. She was unstable. Always just looking out for herself. Yep. Yeah. I wanted to be wrong. I did. But it was clear from the start. Put some miles between us in this place. Can do, Kenny. And what did you know? The baby survived all of this. Miracle baby, ladies and gentlemen. Miracle baby. AJ. Alvin Carver. <laughs> Nine days later. Just a little further. We're almost there. I sure hope that's a cook fire. Oh, we could use a hot meal right about now. Might be all I need. Come on. I'll race you to the top. <laughs> hey! Uh, finally, things are starting to lighten up. <laughs> Come on, Alvy. We got this. <laughs> You cheated. Holy shit. We did it, Clem. That's... That's gotta be it. I... <laughs> I can't believe we found it. It's about time. You were telling me. <sighs> what are we waiting for? Come Let's on. Let's go. This one's gonna be the one. Look at those walls. Finally feel safe, Clem. Be able to sleep at night. Oh no. That's far enough. Just stay still, Clem. Do as she says. Put your hands up, Clem. Drop your weapon. Just a couple of people at the front gate. They don't look like trouble. Sounds good. Hi, I'm Edith. Name's Kenny. And this here's Clementine. Hello. Oh, what a handsome boy. Look at him. <laughs> What's his name? Alvin. Junior. Oh, he's gonna be a little heartbreaker when he grows up. Is there someone named Krista in there? I don't think so, dear. Damn. So, this is Wellington, right? A lot of people call it that. Okay, so what do we do to get in? Well, I'm afraid this is the part where I give you the bad news. What bad news? Huh? The hell's this? That's some supplies. 
food, water, what? some medicine, a first aid kit. Why are kit. you giving us this? Unfortunately, our community isn't accepting new members. We're over capacity as it is, and there's just not enough to go around if we keep bringing people in. Things might change in you a few months. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm sorry. I really am. So we're supposed to just take this and go? This is bullshit. I know, dear. But I don't make the rules. Do you know what we've been through? You have any idea what it took for us to get here? And now... Now you're just gonna turn us away. Look, I don't mean to be harsh, but... A whole lot of other people went through a whole lot of stuff to get here, too, and... They all I got definitely here been through what we've been through. And, and don't think you're the first people we've had to turn away. You're not. The kind of that experience that he I'm went through, Kenny. Real, real sorry to have to do Clementine. this. Clementine. If, if it was up to me, I... Just take the kids. What? Please, just take the kids. It's too dangerous out here for them. Kenny, I... It's just a little girl and a baby boy. You can make room for that. You can take back the supplies you gave us if that helps. Please, just... I need them to be safe. And it's safe in there. I know that. Okay. Just ask someone, please. They won't make it out here. Please. Um, I'll, I'll ask. Just give me a second. You don't need to look at me like that. This is for the best. What the hell are you doing? Look at these walls. It's safe here. You two will be safe. That's what's important now. We can take the children, but... Just the children. I made the case that... Thank you. Thank you. Listen, okay? Listen. This is your chance. For you and this boy. I don't trust myself to keep you two safe. Not anymore. Please. I'm begging you. Please, stay here. Stay here, where it's safe. Where you two will have a chance. No, no, no! Why are you doing this? Because it's the only way. For both of you. <laughs> Think about Alvy here. Please, Clem. Just do as I'm asking. This one last time. You'll meet people. You'll make friends. People better than me. Good people. They, they don't have to look at you and feel ashamed at what they put you through. Please, Clem, please. Where you won't have to sleep with a gun next to you every night. Where you can be a kid for a while. Daddy and all the people who tried to keep him safe. You tell him, okay? He deserves to know. Uh, I got to... Oh, here. Here. Take this. Oh my god. When he... When he's old enough, you make him wear it. It'll... It'll keep the sun out of his eyes. That's important. All right. For him. Please. Now, you take care of Alvin here. You, you live a good life, okay? Can't do, Kenny. Don't waste this, okay? Now, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go before one of us, before one of us changes their mind. Away. I might not look back. Not because I don't want to. I'm real glad to have met you, Clementine.
thank you for everything, Kenny. That was The Walking Dead Season 2. Well, I think I've already expressed enough how I feel about this game after the last episode. Oh yeah, the choices. Let's see here. We protected the baby, and Luke being the dumbass that he is, got his leg shot. And did we went to help Luke? You and 66.7% of players did not try to help Luke. Okay, what I did there is not entirely accurate. Okay, you see, the thing is, even if you try to cover Luke like that option stated, which is apparently, that doesn't count as helping Luke. Yeah, shooting the walkers while he tries to escape is not does not constitute as helping him. Clearly, Telltale are the world-leading writers of the gaming industry, people. It says so right on their Twitter. Well, it did at one point, but I'm going to still pop it up every time we see some of that world-leading writing of theirs. What I mean every other time, because, well... I'm more than likely... I haven't even fully decided yet if I'm going to play the next game in the series. But let's keep going here. Loyalty asked to leave with Mike. We didn't leave with Mike. Another thing, yeah, that... Why did I show that scene of Clementine shooting Mike? Because that is a cut option that they took out out of the game. Why? Who the hell knows? Maybe they wanted it so that Clementine's first kill, direct kill, was Kenny. Even though in Season 1 she has the option of shooting the stranger, but I digress. That's just... <sighs> the game is tailored by how you play! But the main reason why I did that is because, let's be honest, people, we're not going to see Mike in the final season. We're not. Oh, yeah, yeah, spoilers. He doesn't appear in A New Frontier. <sighs> Survivalism, did you shoot Kenny? You and 49.1% 49 of players didn't shoot Kenny. What the hell is wrong with half of you people? Seriously. Friendship, in the end, who are you with? You and 21.4% of players are with AJ and Wellington. That number should be a lot fucking higher, but you know why? It's like that, it's because Telltale, again, manipulated the final choice. You see, it was, the final fight of the last episode was originally supposed to be Luke versus Kenny. I mean, it was pretty obvious with the whole dick measuring contest they were having throughout the whole game, but then they changed it to Kenny versus Jane at the last minute, even though they practically didn't know each other until the last episode. Even after it was changed to Kenny vs. Jane, the fight still went through several revisions because originally you had the option to shoot either Kenny or Jane, but they changed it to just being able to shoot Kenny because apparently too many people decided to keep Kenny alive. So they had to just, instead of giving an actual good reason to shoot Kenny, they decided to make him look like an asshole and have him dominate most of the fight. And wouldn't you know it, that's why the final choice, or the last two choices, I guess, are the way they are. Artificial tension. Don't you love it? <laughs> Let's just get off the screen. Well, unfortunately for these world-leading writers, they didn't trick me. Because I knew it. I knew it very well. See, the thing is, people, in my first playthrough of this game, when I first saw Kenny, I sided with him on everything. Every. Single. Thing. I didn't care how 
much of an asshole they try to make him look like. I sided with him throughout the entire game. And honestly, looking back now, when I look at how much this season changed while in development, I honestly wish he had just died in season one. But, I mean, it's it's the fucking writers and also it's more so the upper management because of them wanting to change the game so damn much that pretty much all the other characters got no development after Kenny appeared. See, pretty much, starting with episode 3, if you weren't Kenny or Jane, you weren't getting any fucking development at all. So fucking sad. But... Just... Well, the thing about Kenny also is that he was supposed to be the villain of the game, as his voice actor mentioned before, and I believe that's the only time it actually was mentioned by an official source, but yeah, Kenny was supposed to be Carver in this game, and honestly, it would have been a very interesting story if they had gone with that. Honestly, if you ask me, Kenny should have either been the main villain, or he should have just been gone altogether. <sighs> But, there's so much I want to talk about with this, but I think that deserves its own whole video. Just like, what went wrong with Season 2 during its development? Because like I said, you would not believe how much was changed with this game. As well as the game after this, A New Frontier, which I'm still debating with myself if I want to do, because, like I said in the last episode, if you guys thought this game was bad, you have not seen anything yet. You haven't. <laughs> I just... I don't know if I'll be able to fucking do it, but... I mean, if I don't take it seriously, because the thing is, people... A New Frontier actually doesn't piss me off as much as this game does. Why? Because I've already well accepted the fact that we're not going to get another Walking Dead game as good as the first season. At least from Telltale. So... I'm gonna probably go into A New Frontier as a parody game if I decide to let's play it. I'm still gonna have to debate with myself on that. Anyway, I'll see you guys on my next let's play. See you guys then. Oh yeah, and one last thing. Credit goes to Caillou J's Gaming, I hope I pronounced that right, for the footage of Clementine shooting Mike. I asked him if I could use his footage months in advance before I even started this Let's Play, and he allowed me to, so thanks, man. Go sub him. Anyway, I'll see you guys on my next Let's Play. Bye.